Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, today we will discuss how to install HP Pavilion DL180 G10 Generation 10 server. First of all, we will uh, set the RAID controller. After uh, setting the RAID controller, then we install the operating system uh, Windows Server 2022. Uh, first of all, boot the server. After booting it will show some menus when it shows uh, system utilities uh, then we will press F9 F9 means we want to configure and we want to use its uh, utilities we want to configure its RAID so in HP ProLiant 180 G10 server we need to press key F9 to configure it system will continue to boot in 14-15 seconds now we have to wait 14 seconds Now after that uh, we will uh, see a menu system configuration and when we click on system configuration then click on RAID, uh, RAID controller. Here are disk utilities. Uh, we have three uh, bays and if we want to array configuration here are two options create array. We have to select all the hard disks and then select the RAID uh, we want to configure it RAID 0 but here uh, have option RAID 0 and RAID 1 RAID 5 is the uh, more secure rather than RAID 1 or RAID 0 at this uh, screen we need to type the name of logical drive level label or we can see it default we can leave it default and we need to set other option as default <coughs> after configuration we have to submit changes friends here we uh, you can see some uh, strip size and some other parity size, SSD override and some other uh, option which we want to set as default we do not want to change these options and no we will uh, uh, click on submit changes when we click on submit changes then it means these changes are successful click on controller information it will give all about the information like controller information it's version it's from a version it's all other options we can see here this page is uh, tells about all the controller information RAID controller, uh, controller means RAID controller information <coughs> now we will uh, configure controller, uh, configure controller setting modify controller setting, modify cache size here we see its cache size and some other option advanced controller settings we also set as default we do not want to change any option from this uh, menu or from this page we clear configuration if we want to delete all array configuration then we click on all delete all array configuration it means all our data will also be lost if we want to delete all clear inf configuration backup power configuration manage power settings here are some mode like maximum balanced and minimum 
modify expander minimum scan duration click on array configuration manage array click on array a here we uh, see about the array information like SATA SSD and RAID 5 is configured and all about the configuration about array array yeah, logical drive information details you can see RAID level is 5 and other information list drives 3 system configuration embedded RAID 1 HP smart array P408i its card RAID controller card on system information system summary processor information and some other information here are CPU 1 socket 1 and some other information threshold and some other information about processor memory information this is all about memory information here are uh, then PCI device information storage uh, device information and USB device and mm, these are the menus which mm, are about information and we will click on OK system reboot in progress we have configured uh, RAID 5 successfully now we will see whether RAID 5 is RAID 5 is created successfully same we can we will press the F9 to go to RAID controller information uh, RAID controller utilities System configuration uh, same in embedded RAID controller information. Click on array configuration and click create array. Logical drive cannot create an array because no physical space uh, available. This message is because we have already configured uh, RAID controller and there is no sphere, yeah, uh, no uh, physical hard disk is available. So that's why we cannot configure again RAID. Now our, our system is booting and now we are uh, going to install Windows Server 2022 after configuration of RAID controller. system is booting from windows usb drive we have created a usb device for windows server 2022 standard edition in this menu we select a language to install then time and currency format and then keyboard or input method after setting all these we click on next button to move on next page and here are install now button and we can also use repair your computer option we have both options we can also repair at this stage if we are getting an issue what we are installing fresh window we will click on install now setup is in starting this is hard disk menu 
uh, operating system uh, selection menu we uh, select uh, windows server 2022 standard edition uh, desktop experience because if we select simple then we then it will not give gui interface click next and here we click on custom because we cannot upgrade because upgrade is not available as we are installing fresh windows so that's why we need to click on custom instead of upgrade after that here are hard drive partition menu we will select hard drive partition according to our organization requirement or uh, which uh, which services we want to install on this service server like database server exchange server or domain controller file server and any other server like SharePoint portal server uh, we need to set the C drive space as we want to install the services on this server after selecting the space we will click on apply ok our C drive partition is created which is 500 GB and we know uh, remaining the space will allocate as a D drive after uh, creating space we click on format we will format these drives so when our uh, uh, operating system installed then we see these drives but we can also uh, format these drives after uh, installing the operating system click on uh, partition 3 which is 500 GB now our operating system installation is in progress this will take some time because we have uh, SSD hard drives and it will not take much time as compared to normal drives Twenty five, twenty eight percent is completed, and it will take some time to complete getting file ready for installation. Friends, as uh, I will inform you that this is the latest Microsoft uh, Server Operating System uh, Server Windows Server 2022 Standard Edition, and this is uh, this is latest OS. and we are implement this uh, latest operating system in our organization environment so we will enjoy and microsoft will uh, improve a lot of things like security and uh, other uh, procedure like dns dhcp its uh, active directory services and security features as a, as compared to windows server 2019 So this is the best operating system and also latest uh, Defender software to protect this operating system from a virus and Trojan and other things. Friends, now installation is almost completed and now our server is rebooting.
सर्वर इज रीबूटिंग it is taking some time because it's the first time it will take some time to organize some things no password windows is in front of us we will give its password for first time you can use uh, combination of password like alphabet numeric and some special character to secure your server we are setting first time we will uh, change this password when we ready the services now all set click and give the same password we have set the in previous screen now friends our server is ready this is the server manager dashboard in this screen we see all the services and their functionality if there is any service stop or any issue we can see and we can resolve at this time now server is ready we open computer management this is about server it's a 128 gb ram and dual processor and ssd hard drive installed and it's a version 21 h2 windows server 2022 standard edition these are all about the operating system installed on this server friends i hope you will understand all the procedure about raid configuration and uh, um, server installation if you have any problem any issue you can write me in comments i will help you and i will give answer as soon as possible thank you bye